All right. Um, last up. I know I'm standing between you and the minibar. And um, let me just say, <clears throat> we don't even force people at Microsoft to use as much PowerPoint as you've been subjected to for the last couple of minutes here. <laughs> I'll use my, uh, my 300 seconds diligently. Uh, this is not you know, a week of conference. This is really a festival of crisis management and response going on this week. Uh, we have a number of, we have GEM, we have understanding risk. We're culminating this weekend with uh, random hacks of kindness, which I'm sure you're all scratching your head wondering what it is. I'll sp explain that. Uh, these companies you don't often see together. US government, NASA, World Bank, Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, um, you know, Slashdot is full with conspiracy theories, what we're actually doing, and what's this incredible truth, or what we're trying to do here, right? It's actually quite simple. What we're doing is bringing together the subject matter experts together with the hackers that are willing, able to volunteer their time and expertise to work on solutions. Um, we're talking about software solutions. We did this once, we did already. We had a few uh, applications that are already being widely used. One of them is I'm OK, an SMS-based type of application to communicate through networks uh, that you are OK to a preset list. Um, it's actually quite easy as genius. Uh, tweet the tweet, tweak the tweet. Um, it's as easy as a genie. It's basically syntax hashtags for actually communicating so you can make your information machine readable when you use it, so people know what's going on, where you are, and what you're asked for. How did we come about this? Um, there was this crisis camp back in June of last year. Um, we were asked to get on stage, Microsoft, Google, uh, Yahoo. We sat down and talked about what our different crisis response teams are doing. And we sort of figured out that there is an opportunity here to collaborate. Um, a few friends from the World Bank uh, joined up afterwards and said, like, are you guys serious? Uh, you know, if you are, we'd like to support this. Um, and they did. And so did NASA came in. So we had the first random hacks of kindness um, in November of last year. We worked together with um, other partners, operational partners, one of them being Crisis Commons. They're sort of the co-founder of Crisis Camps. Uh, it's a group of volunteers that sort of um, work with collecting expertise from subject matter experts and, and sort of mobilize in terms of crisis. And they did so during the Haiti event. Uh, they worked very closely with OpenStreetMap to really collect information. They worked in a number of wiki and other projects and really did some fantastic work. And they did it all over the world. Um, they had you know, 12 or 14 or 15 cities and a couple of thousands of people come together in different time zones in the end. Um, the current iteration is the Oil Reporter, which is a mobile platform for crowdsourcing oil spill down in the Gulf, really gets people to come in here. What we're doing this weekend, we're really trying to connect these guys on the left with these guys on the right, right? This is the Arlington uh, Fire Department in, in this case, and this is a picture from our random hacks candidates. We'll come together, we're actually going to connect the people that have the problem definition, that have a need on the ground with the people that code. Uh, we're having open receptions uh, at the US State Department on Friday. Uh, Vint Cerf, the father of the internet, uh, is keynoting. Uh, I kind of think that he put you know, internet together to post a lot of photos of himself, because there's tons of photos of him out there. Um, so the hackathon, uh, this picture from my last one. We're running it on Saturday morning, starting at 8 a.m. There were tons of Red Bull, um, all kinds of junk food all through the day. Um, and there's going to be, we have like 180 people signed up so far. Crisis camp going on at the same time, at the same location, which is sort of where the policy people, people that don't have hacking skills, um, but we have other skills that we need, are coming together to meet and sort of inform us, tell us technology is what's going on. Uh, we're going global this time. Last time we had it in Silicon Valley. This time we're doing Washington DC, Sao Paulo, uh, Chile. We're doing Nairobi, uh, Jakarta, Sydney. Um, and those are the few places we could organize on, on short time. So what I want from you guys, um, if anything, take away, go to this website, write it down, rhok.org. There you can find all the information I'm rambling and babbling up about here. Um, the State Department is going to be fantastic, uh, but it's already <laughs> closed uh, because we have to submit all these lists to State Department ahead of time for security reasons. Um, Random Hacks of Kindness going on this weekend. It's not a one-time effort. It's something we're going on an ongoing basis. We want to do this proactively you know, through the year. So if you um, want to skip bread and woods in the pool this weekend, um, come hang out with us and write code, talk about software, talk about disaster risk and management. Um, and meet a lot of great people. Uh, please join us on this weekend. Thank you very much.